Why to start off the game? Beautifully pulled. That's some way to start off the inning and get going by Aisha Zafar. And over the top of the wicketkeeper. Again, some extra bounce. She wasn't expecting that. She took her eyes off at the last minute. It got big on her. She didn't expect that. Effort delivery from Wilmot. It is giving us that balance that we required. All oh, that's gone through. That's some unusual scenes from West Indies side as they come back for the second. Fletcher the fielder. That he was clearly not at his best. Edge or dropped. She took a beautiful catch yesterday but just could not quite hang on to this one. When it's off the back foot, she sees it for long and this one, she just parried it like a goalkeeper. Tipped it over the bar. Slip now in place. And that's over the head of the fielder. It's all working for Pakistan at the moment. This time it's Sid Ramin getting a boundary towards Kuwait. It's finally. Shot, a wide cut beautifully and through Fraser. An excellent running too. They will come back for the second. Benefited these two openers too. That's again over the head of the wicketkeeper. It's all working for Aisha and Pakistan. Cuts beautifully. It was a bit risky but she'll take it. Another boundary through offside for Aisha. And... Uh... A full toss made into a Yorker. Wanted to hit it through covers, but. Yeah, you look at that front leg where that is going. This time making room. Nicely done. There was enough time and a bit of a pullback length by Haley Matthews allowed her to cut her. Yeah, that's missed everything. Might not go to the boundary. Wait for the umpire. Signal is that buys. Oh, no signal. So there's some part of bat. Get some bat slightly short. Can come back four two. That's a good stop there. That was short asking for trouble. It's in the gap. The chase is on. And it finds the boundary, a bit of a misunderstanding between the two fielders. But the placement was superb from Sidra Amin. Very few players. This is in the air, not coming off the meat of the bat. Maniva will get a couple of runs. That sounded very nice. And that will find the fence beautifully struck. She got down on one knee. And Hit it in the gap. Little reverse sweep beautifully played. There was a gap there. We'll go back for a couple of runs. And that is a huge moment for Muniba Ali in her career. She brings up her thousand runs in T20I cricket. Oh, taking risk but getting away with it. We'll find the boundary again. But not without risk here from Mane Bali. Oh, perilously close to that outstretched glove of the keeper. She was anticipating as Muniba was taking shape to play the reverse sweep. Saida James, the new bowler. Stop that, stop that. Nicely crunched. This was superb piece of timing and look at that ball go. Goes again. And the chase is on. She will get to the ball. Fletcher. Bowler, as we speak about the quality of Mariba, she loses one. Excellent delivery from Afi Fletcher. This occasion also was tried the ball that would be. That's in the air, but say. I'd say this is this is what you can expect when Dar is on crease. He'll sweep the ball every now and then and get a couple of runs. That's simple chance to Henry. Dar goes. Once again it was Afi Fletcher that Haley Matthews brought on. And she's done it for West Indies. Two wickets in that over. First was Manibali and now Nidadar. 
Oh, Sid Ramin does really well. The placement was super. That's excellent shot by Sid Ramin. Hitting the ball and again. And the same result. Brilliant. Towing around with the fielders and the baller Sid Ramin. That's one way of doing it. Just come across, play it in the gap. And get a couple of runs because these West Indies fielders, they're just brilliant. Again, wanted to go towards the leg side. But they had got protection there because of what happened in the last over. There was protection there and Haley Matthews did not make any mistake. Campbell was right on spot, right on target with that throw and uh, Gulfaroza has to walk back for only four runs. It's 101 for four. Oh, that went oh, again. Brilliant. That is top class cricket by West Indies. Making a comeback through some excellent fielding. That is unlucky indeed. Uh, that's the third time Fatma has lost her wicket on the very first ball she's played. Ricocheted off her hands, but she got a hold of that. That is uh, exquisite. Five wickets. That's in the air. Should be out. Should be out. Yes, it is. Natalia goes and Pakistan lose their sixth. After the good innings by Sidra Amin and Muniba. And a good diving catch in the end by Williams Rashida. Oh, in the end, that's a catch and a half. This is not the same fielding side we saw yesterday from the West Indies. What a brilliant catch by Fletcher to dismiss Najiha. She should just have rotate the strike. And again, a great catch by F.E. Fletcher. But last over. Slot. And uh, might go to the hands. Fraser coming under it. It's gone through those palms. They'll come back for another one. Two completed. Ramin playing her part and could be a run out, but not. And eventually, when she'll get strike, she will try to do something like that. Completely right. A 15th over, and she hasn't faced more, much deliveries. She's trying to hit that ball coming down the line. Well, and that goes to the boundary. Ramin trying to get more runs for Pakistan. The fielder. And again, That's what I'm talking about. And a good shot towards the extra cover boundary. They've got into the 130s and another single that takes them to 134. So 135 to win. That's not a bad total at 6.71 uh, runs and over.